Hi everybody and welcome to this video on numbers. We're going to take a look at how we make up numbers. We're also going to look at how we compare different numbers by finding the lowest or the highest or putting a list of numbers in order. So let's start by having a look at all the numbers that we use. There are 10 of them, and they are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. As well as being called numbers, they are also known as digits. And any number that we want to write down, no matter how large, is made by putting these digits together. So. If we see, let's say, this number here, it's got one, two digits, so we actually call it a two-digit number. Now, what we need to understand is what each of these digits means. Well, the first of the digits on the left-hand side here tells us how many tens there are in the number, and the seven the last digit tells us how many units there are. Sometimes you will see the units called ones. So in this case, we have three tens and we have seven units. And of course, it makes up the number 37. Here we have a larger number. This has one, two, three digits. We call it a three digit number. Now, in this case, we have an extra digit. And on the left hand side here, we have the hundreds. It's in the hundreds column and it tells us how many hundreds there are. Then we follow the same pattern as the two digit number. This is our tens and on the end we have our units. So in this case we have six hundreds, three tens and five units. Six hundred and thirty-five. We're going to have a look at some of the things that you might be asked to do with numbers and I'm going to use this list of numbers to help us do it. Now the first thing you might be asked is how to find the highest number. So we are looking for the highest, another word for biggest number. So let's have a look at this list. Well, the first thing we can see is that we have some numbers with three digits and some numbers with two digits. So we know that with the three digit number, it has some hundreds. So the three digit numbers must be bigger numbers, higher numbers, than the two digit numbers. So we can take these three. One of these must be the biggest number. The next thing we do is we take a look at the number in the highest column, in this case, in the hundreds column. And we find we have a one, a two, and a three. Now, because three is the biggest number in the first column, then the highest number of all these must be 305. We might also be asked to do exactly the opposite and find the lowest number. In other words, the smallest one. And we do just the opposite to that we've just done. We look at the list of numbers and we say, OK, the ones with the two digits are smaller than the numbers with three digits. So in this case, we're going to have a look at the 53, the 26 and the 18. Now, don't forget, we're looking for the lowest number here. So we look at the numbers in the tens column, the first column. We have a five, we have a two and we have a one. Out of those, one is the smallest number. Therefore, the lowest number in the list is 18. Now I'm going back to looking for the highest number again. Only this time I've changed one of the numbers. 
just to show you what might happen. So looking for the highest number, just as we did before, we are going to look at the numbers that have the three digits in there because we know they are larger than the two digit. So let's write those numbers down. One, six, seven, three, two, five, three, zero, five. Now, if you remember, I said we look at the numbers in the first column, in the hundreds column. Now, this time we have a one, a three and a three. So we have a slight problem in that these two numbers both start with a three. They are bigger than the one, so we don't need to worry about that number. We need to know which of these two is biggest. Now, if the number in the first column is the same, what we have to do is move on to the second column. And we have to look at these two numbers here. In this one, we have a two. In this one, we have a zero. Therefore, it is this number that is the largest. And finally, here's another question that we might have to answer. We are asked to put these numbers in order, starting with the largest. So we need to use every number now and create a list. But we do things very similarly to the way we've just been finding the lowest and the highest starting with the largest number. So the first thing we do again is look for the three digit numbers, the larger numbers, and that is these three. So we have 167, 225, you remember we did this earlier, and 305. We looked at the numbers in the first column. We had a one, a two and a three. So we decided that the largest number is 305. That means we've used that one up. We then have to look for the next largest. So going back to the two here, we have a one and a two. Therefore, the two is larger than the one. So the next largest number must be two, two, five. The only other three digit number that we have left is 167. So that must be our third highest number. We then go back to our original list and we find we have some two digit numbers. We have 53, we have 26 and we have 18. We follow exactly the same rule as we just have done. We have a five, a two, and a one in the first columns. The five is the biggest, so the next number on our list must be 53. Look at the remaining two. We have a two and a one. The two is largest, therefore 26 must be our next. The only two digit number we have left is 18, so that goes next. That has covered that one, that one, and that one. The only number we have left is a single digit number here at the bottom. That is the number seven. So that must go on the bottom. So that is all our numbers in order, starting with the largest. You might get asked to put them in order, starting with the lowest. So you could do everything that we've done here, but in the opposite order, looking for the lowest number each time, or you could simply turn this list completely upside down. So there's the smallest, the next, the next, the next, and so on. Well, if you have found that useful and you want to see some of my other videos, please just hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. I have put a link to one of my other videos on the side here, and I hope to see you again. Thank you.